I am really passionate about depth of knowledge, DOK. It's how much critical thinking is in the lesson or the activity. A pitfall that we can fall into is thinking about verbs. Critical thinking is not about the verbs, but rather how much figure it out, students' brains sweating, doing complex reasoning. And that's actually really hard to measure. There is a math problem that is so hard, they make far sight cartoons about it. I don't even have to say the whole math problem, and we're all just going to cringe with how hard this math problem is. Two trains leave the station. Oh, we just assume that this is so crazy hard. It's what you'll see in a lot of cartoon examples to show how difficult math is. Two trains leave the station at noon, one going east at 30 miles per hour, and the other going west at 70 miles per hour. How long until they're 80 miles apart? So how much critical thinking is this hard math problem? Well, let me demonstrate for you what that lesson might look like. We've already learned D equals RT, distance equals rate times time. You already know that. I'm gonna ask that you recall that. I have two trains. One train's gonna go this way, and the other train's gonna go that way. So I have this train's distance plus this train's distance. And when I add them together, it gives me the total distance. I just did the thinking for you. So this one is distance equals rate times time, plus this train is distance equals rate times time. And if I add them together, I get the total distance. So this is gonna be 30X plus 70X equals 80. That's it, that's the formula. I just told it to you, and now I'm gonna give you a problem just like it. So this super hard math problem, what DOK level is it? I'm asking you to do one just like the one that I did, so it is DOK one. It is not critical thinking, it is recall and memorize. It may be hard for you to recall it, and it may be hard for you to memorize it, but you're not being asked to do any critical thinking or figure it out. You're doing one just like the one that I gave you. As Shelley Burgess says, live in DOK two and three and visit DOK one and four. Now when the majority of your curriculum is DOK one, don't think that you can just throw out all your DOK one overnight. You're gonna need to gradually decrease the DOK one and increase at least the DOK2. So even switching out one problem that's DOK1 for DOK2 is making steps towards increasing critical thinking in your classroom.